All right, this morning I got Google's CR48 computer in the mail. Uh, I didn't receive any email that I was going to, but I did, and it's awesome. So I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the CR48, what's cool about it, what's not. Uh, I guess, first of all, the size, it's pretty small. I like it, uh, it looks nice. We'll open it up. I have had a couple snags so far. I started it up one time and it wouldn't really let me click on stuff very well. And then there's another time that it struggled connecting to the wireless. I had to restart the router. Other than that though, it's been pretty good. So here's a login screen. I can log in or if you want to log in as a guest, all this does is it opens you up in incognito mode, nothing fancy or you can sign into another account so I'm just gonna go ahead and log myself in here type in my password I wonder if you could see that how people hack into my system okay so it's logging me in and there it is it's just a Chrome browser we looks like the wireless is finally working okay so you can see here yep I'm connected to the wireless I can enable cellular and uh, connect to Verizon if I want I'm not gonna do that yet but basically you come on a screen getting started screen it talks a bit about the Chrome OS so I'm just going to bring it up to my blog post and kind of um, go over some things I've noticed. So first thing, first time I turned it on, the screen kind of flickered. I haven't noticed anything since that time. And the screen seems to be pretty well. I mean, uh, it's a normal screen. Um, network connection, it's pretty, pretty good. I was able to turn the computer on, update everything pretty quick. And you can see everything synced on my browser. I've got uh, got my Gmail. I've got the weather and that came up, and uh, I've got a plugin for the time. And I guess I don't need that with here since I got two times showing, but uh, it's still pretty nice. Um, so yeah, I got everything up and running in about five minutes. Um, as far as the hardware goes, I don't want to talk too much about the hardware because that's not really what uh, Chrome OS is about, but I liked it so far. Um, the keyboard's nice. The, the touchpad is just a single touchpad. You can use two fingers for scrolling. Uh, and if you do two finger click or tap, it's a right click. Three finger tap, it's a middle mouse button click. Uh, it, and it kind of seems to work on and off. You can press the whole thing as a button, but up in the top, you can't really do it. Um, so that's kind of a hardware issue. Not a huge deal. Um, so let's check this out. We'll close the lid. We'll have it sleep. You know, you can let it sit there or whatever. Open it back up, and boom, you're back up and running. So that's one of the greatest things about it is really you don't have to shut it down it's awesome okay something else so we'll go to settings and check out some of the settings because most of it's just like how your browser would be there's a few different things if you go here internet you can have it remember your wireless connections or have a cell phone connection um, then all your basic and personal stuff that's basically the same as you'd see in Chrome um, I guess let's see in the system there's one thing that's pretty cool that I've played around with a bit it's a uh, customized language and input and uh, I've got some Chinese input and tried that out a bit it seemed to work alright so that was kinda cool and then users and that's about it. I mean, there's not much to it besides what you see in your normal Chrome browser. 
the one thing that has kind of frustrated me so far is I want to take some screenshots and save them and upload them on my blog and I haven't really figured out how to do that um, maybe there's a way to do a screenshot I tried to do a an application that didn't work and there's no re real way or you can save things but it doesn't show you where it puts them um, oh let me open my gmail account and I did make a phone call through gmail uh, the first call I made was alright there's some cutting in and out but it seemed alright and then I tried another test call that worked perfect um, the webcam is not the best but I guess that could be expected for something that's free um, I won't be able to show you here because I don't have anything open to show the webcam but uh, that's basically it uh, oh yeah another nice thing I guess with the keyboard no caps lock just the search button all that does is open up a new tab so nothing too fancy there but it's still a nice thing to have um, you can open new windows let's see if I remember how um, well I know there's a way to do it and you can switch through them but oh a full screen mode which I guess that's kinda nice but for being a free computer it's definitely awesome uh, if you had to pay money for it I wouldn't expect you to pay a whole lot for something like this uh, as far as the Chrome OS goes though it's it's definitely for someone who's living in the cloud if you've got everything hooked up to Google all your contacts if you use Google Docs then it's great uh, you can use it there's definitely a few things you'll miss but for something being portable that you can take around it's wonderful if you don't have things on the cloud and if you don't have a Gmail account uh, or anything like that it'll probably be a pretty miserable experience but so far so good and I'll post some more comments and thoughts on my blog so check it out at tutorial geek alright thanks